So if you are a laptop, tablet, or smartphone user and find yourself typing up documents or searching up stuff on the web, you might want to consider a Bluetooth keyboard. Well, there are many different options to choose. However, today I would like to recommend the Logitech K480 keyboard. And K480 has a 10.5 by 27.6 millimeter keypad. This is how the K480 sounds versus the MacBook Pro keyboard. This is a K480 side view. As you can see, the Logitech K480 is a pretty hefty device. It comes in at 1.81 pounds. I believe that's like around 820 grams. While portability is not the major plus of this device, I can still see myself carrying this around everywhere. The knob on the left of the device allows you to switch between three connected devices at most. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to demonstrate how changing the settings on this knob from one, two, or three allows me to switch devices, uh, specifically between my iPad mini and my MacBook Pro. Outside of this Stormtrooper white and gray version, there's also a black and neon version of this K480 that I really like. The device is powered by two AAA batteries, which Logitech claims can last up to two years. There is also an on-off switch at the right. There is just one small nitpicky quirk that I have with this device. When you're using this device with an iPad, you will find that if for some reason you want to switch to the on-screen keyboard just to access one or two characters, well, you tap on the screen and the on-screen keyboard will not pop up. In order to actually get the on-screen keyboard to pop up, you have to press F3 with this keyboard sign. It's so weird and I find it inconvenient, but I mean, it's a small quirk. So to sum it all up, I'm going to give you the pros and cons of this device. So the first pro of this device is it is actually very cheap. At Best Buy, it retails for $49.99, that's $50. And while that might seem like a lot, you go to Amazon and you can save over $20 just by buying it on Amazon. So this is insane and it's quite a steal for the device that you're getting right here. So the next pro that I have is the build quality. As you can tell, this is a chunky device. And while this means that portability is not its best aspect, I will say that it is very well built. I have dropped this device at least three times. And as you can see, there are no signs of wear and tear. This thing is still like it was brand new. This is a very well built device. And that is the second reason I recommend it. The third reason I can recommend this device is because of its keyboard. So the keyboard is actually very, very spacious, almost as spacious as the MacBook Pro. And the keyboard is also made up of keys that are very tactile. I would say that the MacBook Pro is a little bit better in terms of how satisfying it feels to use a Macro Pro compared to this keyboard. I still would say that for a device that is sub $50, this is a wonderful keyboard. The fourth reason I would recommend this keyboard is because of its design. It is a very classy design. I have not seen any Bluetooth wireless keyboard that is this classy. The final pro that I want to mention is the ability to switch between multiple devices. Not many keyboards can do this. As shown previously, just changing this knob allows me to switch between three devices. My list of cons is actually very short. It's only two. First con that I have about this device is simply the fact that it is pretty heavy. It's 1.81 pounds. That's heavier than most portable keyboards 
that I have seen in the past. Uh, it is chunky, but it still is portable and you can carry this around as I have said before. My second con is the fact that this is a slot and there is nothing, absolutely nothing to keep your devices, whether it be iPads, cell phones, iPods, or whatnot secure. As such, if this is on an unstable surface and I type on it and for some reason this device drops, well, your phone, your tablet, or whatever is on this slot right here is just gonna go with it. So this has been another great review, guys. I will put the links to buy the K480 below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you didn't like this video, you can give me a thumbs down. That's been it. Ben Cat, signing out.